Welcome! This tutorial is going to be about underlining copy and how to control the look of that underline. So the first thing you want to do is select the text you'd like to underline, and there's a couple ways we can get the underline applied. The best is using Command-Shift-U to get you there, or you can go up to the Character Control Bar, this little icon right here, Underline, you can get there that way, or you can go to this flyout menu over here on the upper right, choose underline options and then turn underline on. No matter which method you use you want to end up in underline options so that you can control the look of that underline. So you can see here we have a lot of choices. The underline can be a text color or for some reason you want to make it a different color. And here we can control the offset. Because a lot of times the default underline is crashing into descenders and doesn't look exactly the way you'd like. Of course, we can control the weight of that rule, and do whatever you want. You can even ch uh, change the type and make it a dashed underline, and you can get crazy by changing the gap color to have something like that, and of course you can change tints. So there's um, quite a bit you can do. Usually the basic way is just a solid rule and the text color. That way if your text color changes, the rule will change with it. That is the basics of configuring your underline. 